I'm Janico Garitos, Product Applications Engineer for the Precision Signal Chain Micromodule Solutions at Analog Devices. Today, I will demonstrate how to set up the CN0535 Evaluation Board with this DPK-1 and import its embed example program on your online IDE. The CN0535 is a high-performance, alias-free measurement platform for flexible data acquisition system. On its signal chain, it has a PJA, the LTC6373, a fourth order anti aliasing filter, a fully differential amplifier ADC driver, the ADA4945-1, and a Sigma Delta ADC, the AD7768-1. Originally, it was designed to be evaluated using SDPH1 and the LabVIEW based evaluation software. It is important to take note that if we use the SDPK1 and MCU based platform, the throughput of the ADC will be limited. Now, in order to evaluate the CN0535 using SDPK1, we need to install the following components. On the bottom layer, we need to install these Arduino headers. These headers allow us to plug in the CN0535 evaluation board on the SDPK1. On the top layer, we also need to install the onboard oscillator and its bypass capacitor. A 0 ohm resistor or a jumper is needed to be installed on R38 to connect the onboard oscillator on the 87768-1 ADC's unplug. In order to control the PGIA gain and FDA power mode through the 87768-1 GPIOs, R6, R5, R7, and R27 are needed to be populated with a 0 ohm resistor. After performing necessary hardware modifications, we can now plug in this CN0535 evaluation board to our SDPK1. Then we could connect this SDPK1 to our laptop using this Type C to standard Type A USB cable. Now, I will demonstrate how to import the CN0535 Embed Example Program on your online IDE. Here we have the CN0535 product page. From here, we open the user guide and in this user guide, we go to the software projects and platform section and we click the CN0535 plus SDPK1 hyperlink. This wiki page guides you on how to set up the CN0535 evaluation board to make it workable with SDPK1. Now, if we try to explore this wiki page, we could see here the equipments needed. This section discusses how to set up the hardware. And these are the suggested part numbers of the components we installed earlier. We also have here the instructions on how to import the code on your online embed IDE. And this section discusses how to set up the serial terminal. Going back to this section, one requirement here is to have an embed account. You can create your embed account through this link. After creating your embed account, you can open this link and it will redirect you to the CN0535 embed repository. After that, you can now import the code on your embed online IDE. This code allows you to communicate with the CN0535 evaluation board and configure it. Here you could see that you could change the gain of the PGIA using this example code. You could also control here the power mode of the FDA. And this part of the code allows you to initiate a continuous ADC read. And the rest of the code here are other essential commands and configurations of the board. Now if we compile the code, we could extract the binary. And this binary file can be loaded directly to SDPK1 by dragging and dropping it to the SDPK1 directory. To communicate with the CN0535 and SDPK1, we open a serial terminal like Terrator. In the serial terminal, you can now configure the CN0535 board and initiate an ADC read. The ADC read results are sent by SDPK1 to the serial terminal in raw data, codes, and voltage formats. For more information about the CN0535 evaluation board and embed example program, visit analog.com. Thank you for watching.